Okay, picking up from where I left off, uh, we're going to do the corners. So, here's the trick I was about to show you that you really need to learn once you get to the cube stage. As I'm sure you may have noticed, if you do this, it messes up the cube. There's a very easy way around that. Turn the top or the bottom 30 degrees so it's lined up with one of these little edges. And look at that. It's still a cube. The middle layer is messed up, but that does not matter until the end. We can fix middle layer whenever we want. So, we're back here, and we've got the top two corners. They're like that. Um, and the bottom ones are all different. What we're going to do, um, just to show you how this works, we're going to take off this corner. You don't need to worry about how to do this. Okay, so now, let's see. We're in this position. We've got one red corner up here. Actually, we've got another one over there, but I'm going to work off this one. We want to get something next to it. And like I said, you want to work on the orange side most likely, if yours is out the same way as mine, because of how the middle layer is split. You'll understand at the end. Uh, now, we want to get something next to that. Here's the corner that needs to go up here, okay? We're going to get it right here, knowing that when you turn it, it will flip all the way over here. It always goes to the opposite far corner, okay? Give that a twist, and notice how it lined up perfectly. Now, for these next two corners, this is tricky. Uh, we want to get this one first. But we want the wrong corner over there. So get that wrong corner lined up. Right here I need one with blue on it. The only blue corner left. This one does not have blue. Good. And make sure also that the correct corner is not right here next to it. Okay? Um, so we'll bring this up here. Now it's wrong. But assuming the other corner were over here next to it, let's say this one was right. And you bring this up here. Now you've got the right corner up there. That would not work. What you want to do is bring the right one up, then bring the wrong one over, and replace it. Then you would have the right one down here. So anyway, we've got the wrong corner right there. What we want to do is bring the correct one around to this spot, turn this bottom part 30 degrees over that way, swing this around so that you now have these lined up. Then, keep the bottom or the top turned 30 degrees, doesn't matter. And there you go, you got the top corner, so that wasn't so hard. Now, uh, chances are your bottom is messed up. So, what we're going to do is try to find two corners that are correct next to each other. We've got these two. In the case that, they're, that none of them are correct next to each other, that's okay, you're going to use this following algorithm to solve that as well. Um, so get your two correct corners on this side, or if they're all diagonal to each other, it doesn't matter. Just put them however you want, as long as it's in cube form. And the ones that need to switch are here. If they are diagonal, you do the switch algorithm once, and then you should have two next to each other no matter what. Trust me. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to get my cheat sheet, because I can solve the same fucking model. Alright, uh, so now here I've got this list of crazy algorithms. These are just some of the ones that I wrote down, and you can see how mean and long they look. And you see all these positives and negatives, and really confusing, basically. This website I went to, it gave you the algorithms, and it wasn't too clear on how to do them. It actually probably did tell you somewhere in there, but it was about six pages of information about one puzzle, and I did not feel like reading it. I'm sure you wouldn't either, so don't even bother going to that website. If you've typed in Square One Tutorial, on Google, I'm sure you've come across it, and I'm sure you're very frustrated with my camera's turning. Don't know why, stupid cable. Okay, well, anyway, we're going to, uh, I'm going to teach you how this notation works. Very confusing, extremely different from any other puzzle you've done, just because um, you can't tell it to do a quarter turn like that. You have to tell it to do itty bitty turns, tiny ones like that, one third of a turn actually. Or sometimes you do two thirds of a turn like that. Um, so the notation uses x and y coordinates almost, and it sets how it looks. Now, um, the only sides you're going to be turning here are the top layer, the bottom layer, and then you'll be turning the right half of the cube. And you want to make sure that the split in the middle layer is right here. Okay? If it's over here, like that, or, you know, bring it around this little trick I'm doing right here, I'll teach you later. Or, if it's on the wrong side, like that, it'll mess you up. So, yeah, that trick I just did is very useful, and 
but you don't need it until the end of the puzzle. So, okay, I've got five minutes here. I gotta do this really quick. The notation. Um, you're going to see like one through five numbers. One through five. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't go over five because that'd be, yeah, it wouldn't go over five. One indicates thirty degrees. Okay, just a regular one means thirty degrees clockwise. We're doing top layer right now. Uh, two would be like that. Two degrees, and I know it doesn't line up now, but in some situations it might. Uh, sixty degrees clockwise, and you can tell it's like two edges. Use the edge as a, a unit almost. One, two edges. Three, one, two. You go to the corner. Pretend it's split down the corner. Three, like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and it wouldn't go over six because that would there'd be an easy way to do that the other way. <coughs> now, um, for the bottom, or no, for the top, if it says negative, it's the same thing, but counterclockwise, pretty easy. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three. You got the idea. <coughs> now, uh, for the bottom, it's going to be the same thing. One indicates one degree clockwise, which would look like this. Clockwise is going to be that way, because on top it's this way, flipped. Counterclockwise, other direction. And other than that, all looks the same. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to see <coughs> an x coordinate and a y coordinate, and then a slash. That slash indicates a twist of the right half of the cube. Like, for example, this next algorithm starts out 1, 0. 0 means don't do anything. Slash. You can turn it up, or you can turn it down because it's 80, 180 degrees, doesn't matter. Okay, so now we got to switch these two corners using a very annoying algorithm. Um, and like I said, it's pretty long. This one's not terribly long, but one thing, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, the x coordinate represents the top part of the cube, y is the bottom. And like I said, slash indicates turning the right half of the cube. Make sure you've got the split on the left side, otherwise it will mess you up entirely. Um, so I think I'm a little short on time here, not exactly how long I have. But I'm just going to try to keep it all in one piece, and I'll explain the algorithm in the next video.